Have you ever wondered how much it costs to build a luxury home? By the end of this video, you'll have a good idea of how much they are to build, and we'll go through an example of how I price out a luxury home. I'm Dan Nodge, founder of Emmett Leo Homes, a luxury home building company, and your insider into the world of building and redesigning luxury homes. Quick reminder to subscribe by clicking the red button below and make sure to click on the notification bell right next to it to make sure you get the newest videos as soon as they come out. All right, first things first. You may or may not have watched my last video about how to cost out an average home build. If you haven't seen it yet, click here. If you wanna watch it first, as it'll help to compare against this one. What came from it was a ton of questions in the comments about the cost to build a luxury home and not just an average home. In that video, I estimated about $150 a square foot Canadian or about $150 US for your standard home construction all the way up to $350 a square foot Canadian or about $270 US for a luxury home. And remember, I am building in Winnipeg, Manitoba. That means if you're building in Texas, your cost may be a lot lower. What about Utah or Montreal? Sure, that's probably different too. Another thing, at poopypants47, I know that your brother-in-law can build a home for $47 a square foot and he thinks I'm full of shit. But this is luxury building. This is also not do it by yourself. This is what it costs to have a professional builder build it. Yes, that means that people pay me or another builder to build them homes. And that's right, builders have to make money in order to stay in business and manage the warranty and the homes that they build for people. It's beyond me that there's people out there that think that builders shouldn't make any money for what amazing work they do, what they know, and the risk that they incur. So there are bad builders out there, don't get me wrong, but just like any profession. So do your due diligence and get to know them first. Anyways, in this video, we're gonna go over an example, 8,000 square foot luxury home build that we priced out that has a finishing level of about $500 a square foot. Now, there are super mansions, luxury monster Uber homes that are $1,000 a square foot and above, absolutely. But this video covers the breakdown of an 8,000 square foot, $4 million luxury home in central Canada. Of course, custom homes are exactly that. Custom. There are so many variables in costing out a custom home, but the biggest jumps are in size, the finishes, and the amenities that are added that you would never find in an average home. The first thing any good builder would do is reverse engineer the budget. There is no reason to waste time designing a house that my clients cannot build. So if your budget is $4 million, we have to get to the amount that we can actually spend on the house construction. To start with, you need to buy a lot. A lot that would support this home where I live is anywhere between $1.2 and $1.5 million. Then we take the remaining budget and subtract 5% GST, 10% contingency, and 15% overhead expenses and profit. This leaves us with an actual budget that won't leave us with any surprises at the end. Too many people jump in a building and forget all about the other expenses that they will have to pay for. So that leaves us with $2.8 million to build our home. Remember, all those numbers play into our cost per square foot. If this home goes to sell, the market will price it off of all those numbers. While the labor and materials actually around 350 a square foot, you cannot build a house without land, without paying taxes, having room for unexpected issues and paying someone. And that includes yourself if you build it to build it. So I'm going to quickly give you the numbers by large line item for a $4 million build. After this, I'm going to explain what makes those numbers up and where they came from. I love doing this because I can see how many people actually stay to find out how to break those numbers down versus just chirping me in the comments, which is totally fine. Planning and site prep, 141,000. Foundation, 230,000. Framing, 365,000. Exterior finishing, 293,000. Mechanical, 290,000. Interior finishing, 603,000. Finals, 150,000 and our other category at 40,000. So the total is going to be $2,111. Now 
We're gonna pay GST of about $130,000. Our overhead expenses and profit, $350,000, with a contingency of $210,000. That's a total of 2.8 million. So the basic breakdown costs of a home don't change. You still have the cost of a foundation, framing, HVAC, electricals, window, flooring, and so on. That said, the sheer size of the homes compared to a 1,500 square foot bungalow is completely different. We're looking at 4,000 square feet and above. And that much size uses much more HVAC, more windows, more foundations, etc. The biggest difference between an average home and these luxury homes is that there are things in them that are not even thought of nor considered on a typical home. We're talking about elevators, safe rooms, custom cabinetry, uh, commercial roofing material, masonry features, architectural features, and so on. A lot of natural stone and woods that are hard to find and expensive to buy. Then there are simple things that are just more expensive. I'll give you some examples along the way. Another example would be the difference in framing material. Instead of a 16 foot two by six for a high wall that is warped to shit, luxury homes normally use LSL or PSL studs or even steel studs, which are straight and strong and more expensive. We also see the use of plywood versus OSB and premium items like finished carpentry in almost every room, wall, and ceiling. A few things to note also about costs are the following. Location. We all know that building in San Francisco or Vancouver is gonna be more expensive than building in Winnipeg or South or Midwest United States. But the lot location for some of these homes can exceed the cost of a normal size home multiple times over. On the side of a mountain, oceanside, or dealing with natural or environmental challenges can create massive costs. Think of building around trees or into the side of a rock face or coring into the rock. Number two, size. Bigger isn't always more expensive. For size, we focus on the amount of atypical construction, such as architectural features like cantilevers, structural glass, things like sprawling bungalows that require larger foundations over everyday two or three story homes. Number three, labor. You cannot pay the standard laborers to deal with specialized material and finishes. Specialized equals more expensive. Your labor will be higher if there are only a few people in the province, state, or country that can do what they do. Number four, material. This is the largest jump in costs as the finishes in the luxury homes are usually natural stone, natural woods, or specialized product that the purchaser is willing to pay for due to its uniqueness and quality. Architects are almost always involved and are great at sourcing new, innovative products that are not that well known. So with all that said, let's take a look at an example of how you would price out an 8,000 square foot two-story home for a whopping $4 million. Planning and site prep, 141,000. Builders, architects, designers, engineers, plans, permits, all of these planning costs vary project to project, but an in-house team can ensure that the planning stays smooth and seamless throughout, and that all the planners are all on the same page. Architects will charge many different rates, typically eight to 12%, depending on how much they are doing. But by choosing a builder that has an in-house team, all of this was taken care of with our architect, our professional designer and drafting engineering team. Stamp plans, interior design, material selection, and elevations. Then you have your permits, which will run you anywhere from 20 to $35,000, depending on your location, variance, requirements, and size of the project. I know, that's a lot for permits. As a builder, we also have to consider general conditions such as site management, garbage removal, site utilities, warranties, insurance, site rentals, and many more things. Not only is this usually more expensive than most ho houses, the planning stages can take anywhere from eight months to two years to ensure everything is picked out and signed off on. Okay, so now we get to the fun part, the actual work. Although the site and foundation work can be anywhere from $75,000 to $250,000, our site includes demolition of a really old big home, clearing it out, prepping for the walkout basement, digging the hole, and then bracing and shoring so the sides of the hole don't cave in. The site prep can be quite expensive depending on the site. First, if you were doing an infill, demolition is a good probability. Where we live in Winnipeg, if the home has asbestos, it needs to be remediated prior to demo. 
This can cost anywhere from 10,000, maybe up to 80,000, depending on how much and what's in it. This is a huge mistake that some builders and homeowners make prior to buying the property. Foundation, $230,000. This one has an elevator shaft, a concrete safe room, and uses ICF concrete with a structural wood floor in the basement. The home and garage are all piled as to support the concrete entertainment area that connects with the home, the attached garage so it doesn't move, and the extensive weight we put into the home. A lot of piles. Where we live, we normally have basements and higher end homes often have structural wood floors with a smaller crawl space underneath. This allows us to run mechanical underneath the basement floor, provide heat from the bottom, and not have any heaving on, of, of the tumultuous clay soil that we sit on. We also have to put in 25 to 30 foot piles, either poured in place or driven. These piles can be anywhere from 12 inches to 36 inches in diameter. Now, luxury homes require a lot more piles and here's why. You'll find things like elevators, more masonry that need to carry more weight, uh, and especially exterior piles for areas like pools or any connecting platforms to the house. This some, sometimes can be due to those gorgeous sliding glass walls that open up completely, but if your outside ground heaves, it will screw the operability of your home. Great in California, not so good in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Depending on the soil type and location of your build, say on the side of a hill or next to an ocean or river, you may have drastic swings in your foundation price. Framing, $365,000. As most of our homes are built out of wood, our framing is gonna be quite an expensive line item. Now what really differs is the fact that the wood used here is not your typical wood. The use of LSL studs for tile walls, tall walls, and cabinet walls make a significant difference in the price. The 10 to 14 foot ceilings throughout ensure that the material cost goes up substantially. Instead of typical LVL beams, the use of steel beams for wide open basement spaces are used. Steel post and beam construction ensure that floor to ceiling doors and windows or glazing will span across the living room space and open up to the outside entertainment areas. We're also planning on using advanced products like Huberwood Zip System, which incorporates sheathing and exterior foam all in one panel, and also allows us to seal up our barrier on the outside nice and tight. Exterior finishing, 293,000. This exterior finish is very important. The exterior of a home does many things, but the most important is that it protects from the elements. Whether it's acrylic stucco, panelized systems, or close or open siding, we always want to consider how we manage water. Water is the biggest source of all callbacks and damage in the building of homes. Also included in the above is windows and doors, which is a great example of a line item that can jump uh, uh, substantially. In our previous standard home video, windows and doors were 32 grand, while in these luxury homes, that cost might be in the 250 to $400,000 range for larger windows, glazing, bigger doors, or crazy doors like an entire glass wall that opens up versus simply framing in a normal swimming door. Either way, this line item, as well as many other jump substantially, so expect large jumps in standard costs as the specialty items go up. This may seem like a lot, but one single door can run from 10 grand to $50,000. Also including in that price above is roofing. Any flat roof home where we are should be a minimum of a double SBS layer with a rolled torch on membrane. This is a commercial application, but without, without it, our harsh winters and our warm summers will absolutely demolish them. The expansion and contraction is insanely hard on our roofs. These are not cheap to do right. That's just the harsh reality of living in a climate like we do here in Winnipeg. For functionality, we like to see a pitch roof but if we go low slope, a standing seam metal roof is preferred as it seals up and lasts for a very long time. Mechanical, 290,000. That's electrical, plumbing, heating and cooling. Let's first start with electrical. Running standard wiring is one thing, but running cable in a luxury house simply means more. More in-floor heat, more breakers, which means more source power, more accessories, more furnaces, more AC units, pools, hot tub, garage equipment, more gizmos and gadgets. 
A luxury home here will, could have a 400 amp panel and higher electrical service. Switches that tie into the home automation will cost many times more than your standard Decora plugs and switches. Not only that, standard lighting is no longer. An LED mood lighting is found in coffered ceilings, theater rooms, walk-in closets, stairwells, and inset into cabinetry. Our plumbing line item jumps substantially because of the volume of work as well as the quality of the finish. High-end finishes create a massive escalation in pricing. High-end plumbing amenities include extensive spa-like showers and steam rooms, recirc systems, and hydronic floor heat. Some builders have gone back to cast iron pipes in their, in their downspouts as they are really heavy gauge and make it so you won't hear any plumbing sounds throughout the house. Finally, there's HVAC. This is all about comfort and home care. Comfort means that each room is the desired temperature and humidity level. Home care is all about, about the maintaining the air quality and the products that go in these homes. We want to ensure clean air, so a HEPA-based filtration system can be used, as well as multiple furnaces, boilers, and AC units to ensure that temperature re remain appropriate. Mix all this in with the amount of glazing and windows that these homes have, and you really have to make sure that the balancing is adequate for the large spaces. Interior finishing, 603,000. This is where the fun is. This is where HGTV makes all of its money. This is broken down into many different light items, including drywall, insulation, poly, paint, flooring, millwork, finished carpentry, appliances, home automation, the list goes on. Now, interior finishing is the largest line item that we have, and that's because there's so much of it. Now, it can also differ because every individual person picks different finishes. So one person can pick a $2 tile, another person might pick a $75 tile. So you, have a, you vary greatly in the amount, and in these large homes, that adds up very quickly. Finals, $150,000. These are the things that are to finish up the home, like the decks or concrete that is attached to the home. This can also include the interior items such as specialty glass or design features. Landscaping is not included here as the varying degree of landscaping can be all the way from a simple 25 grand grass and some plants to hundreds of thousands of dollars. So that's how a builder looks at costing out a home and now you have a better understanding. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button, share it or tag it with a friend and leave a comment or question below. If you want to see some more luxury projects, make sure to check out emmetleohomes.com found in the description below where you can get your free copy of my luxury home planning guide.